Omar Masri writes, Hey guys, keep up the good work. My question is, do you think Hob- The Hobbit will beat Iron Man 3 at the box office? Oh boy. Uh, Dennis, why don't you start this one? Will Will the next Hobbit beat Iron Man 3? Um, If you're talking about worldwide, uh, possibly. If you're talking about domestically, no. Uh, I think the, the original Hobbit made 300 something million dollars domestically. And Iron Man three made I think four hundred. Yeah. Um, so I don't see a big big increase. Uh, may, I mean, the, I'm sure the second Hobbit will make more money, but like I'm thinking maybe three fifty. Um, but I know worldwide, um, the Hobbit did do better internationally. Uh, but even then, Iron Man three still made more money overall. So, nah. I don't think so. I, I don't. I, there's a, there's a chance, but I, I don't think it's going to. It's going to be tight either way because you mentioned domestically Iron Man three four hundred million, Hobbit three hundred million, but internationally Iron Man three still was ahead, but the percentage ranks. Iron Man made one point two billion worldwide. Yeah. The Hobbit made one point one billion worldwide. One of the interesting things here for us to keep an eye on, though, is what is going to be opening around the time that The Hobbit opens? Now, if, if when you look up the release schedule, nothing is opening the week before. Nothing significant is opening the week before The Hobbit opens up on December 13th. The only film opening up against it is Tyler Perry's A Medea Christmas. Um, and the following week... We've got Monuments Men, which is going to be an Oscar contender film, no doubt, but probably not that huge at the box office. And Anchorman, which I'm going to run out to see, but let's face it, Will Ferrell movies aren't huge blockbusters. So you got nothing opening before The Hobbit, nothing significant opening against it. And going into the following week, there are some pretty good looking films, but I think it could still have legs going on after that. So... I'm going to have to side with Dennis on this and think it's not going to actually beat Iron Man 3. I don't think it'll beat 1.2 billion, but I'm not going to choke if it does. I think it's going to be very, very, very tight. I think, you know, we could see 1.19 billion or something like that, but I think it's going to end up being just a little bit under. Clark, out of the two films, like, which do you think there's a chance that we could see The Hobbit, The Destination of Smog actually overtake and beat out uh, Iron Man 3 at the box office? Actually, I don't. Um, uh, well, the reason I say no is because um, I, I've i talked to a lot of people who did not enjoy the first Hobbit film. Um, I don't know if that's going to prevent them from going and seeing it once in the theater. But, you know, in terms of like repeat viewing, I know a lot of people that saw Iron Man 3 multiple times. So I don't know. Um, the other thing that I think The Hobbit has in his favor that you alluded to is the Christmas time release. Um, as we know, summer... Summer is a crowded season. Um, obviously, Iron Man didn't have a problem with that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I don't know. So um, I think it's, it's going to be tight, but I, I don't think that it's going to be, I think Iron Man 3 is going to end up being the biggest movie of the year. If you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free, and we bring you all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter, where you can find out about all the latest prizes, giveaways, and special contests.